Hey guys, Super Gadget Guy here. Um, today I'll be doing a review of the One Touch Vario IQ meter. Um, I'm no longer to use this meter, and I forgot to save the strips. Um, so I can show you what uh, I mean, because the strip is the only interaction part. Um, in addition to the buttons on the, on the meter, um, so the button is not the hardest um, button to press. The nanometer I have is actually the harder, hardest one, but it's pretty clear. It's not the smallest. It's pretty decent um, in size in terms of overall dimension. It's pretty thin. Um, I have several issue with the overall design of this meter. Accuracy is pretty good. Um, I mean, they're all like okay. I mean, they're not like dead on accurate. I don't know why. Because I. That's just the limitation of technology. I hope they improve this greatly. Um, so this is the uh, Vario IQ. Um, if you have it from the start, make sure you check on the company website because my pharmacist just called me that there is a recall on the meter that for some random error, there will pop up a message saying very high blood sugar alert, even though your blood sugar is actually okay. That freaked out a lot of people. They're actually issuing a recall and there is an actual recall on this meter. But I'm not gonna turn this in, get another one because I'm not gonna use it. I already use up all the strips. So um, in terms of overall design, that there is a sort of light that comes on, where the insertion is supposed to help you guide the testing. Um, completely useless. Um, it's bright enough that you can see the light comes on, but it's not really bright enough to shine on anything. Uh, but certainly drains battery. The battery life on this, not very good. I have to charge this like once every two weeks. And um, again, I'll have strips to show you. I wish I did. Um, the strips are very, very thin. So if you have arthritis or very clumsy like me, it's very hard to handle. It is very small, very thin. A lot of times I hold it up and I try to stick it in, it doesn't work. I find out it's like two strips actually stuck together. Major problem? Is it a deal breaker? No. Is it annoyance? Annoyance? Yes. Um, another thing is that after you're done testing, you pull out the strip, the meter doesn't turn itself off. Like I said, the meter already has a pretty bad battery life, and yet it doesn't turn itself off after you pull out the battery. You know, you see the results, you mark it, you pull the strips off, it remains on for like five minutes, whatever. I just like, I can't stand it. It's a pretty big screen, so I just have to turn it off, holding the OK button for like five seconds, and then the meter turned off. Um, so that's the bad thing about it. The good thing about it, large, easy to read um, LCD screen. So if you have problems seeing it on the sort of tiny screen of the meter, this one is very easy to see. Another thing is that they do have a sort of pattern. So they can say that, oh, you've been having a lot of highs lately before breakfast, or you've been having a lot of highs after dinner, um, you know, do extra checks, make sure your insulin amount is correct, whatever. Basically, use predictive pattern, but again, if you keep a good log, you should know that. But again, this is just tells you, so it's an intelligent feature. Um, another thing is that it has a USB port. It's not a mini USB, it's a standard USB cable. So, you can download data to your computer pretty easily. Um, the software, again, it's PC compatible only, not Mac Macintosh. If you have a Mac, forget about it. You have a PC, yay, you're in, you're in good shape. Again, then again, you need to keep the cable to charge the meter and download the data. Um, I find that I often have to connect the meter to the computer just to charge the battery, not to transfer the data, because the battery life is not that great. And again, you have to keep the cable with the meter in order to do that any USB cable. So it's not like a built-in USB key like like the Contour USB. So overall, it's a great meter. It's pretty cool. Um, and the strips, besides it's very thin, it um, uses a 0.3 micrometer of blood. So it is um, very small amount. Sometimes it's really hard to see whether it got enough or not. And then, but the thing is good about the meter is that it can take in blood from both left and right side. So let's say if you're right-handed and you do a test on your left hand, you can just suck it in this way. And if you're doing testing on your right hand, you can just have the blood 
sucking in this way. You can Google the images, I'm sorry, I didn't save one. So there's two ports on each side, so you can take it from either way. Um, the bad thing is, if you don't have enough blood, start over. You have to put in the new strip, start the whole process over. It's not like you can allow you to add a little bit. My new meter, the Contour USB Next, allows you to do that, even though it use more blood. I will review that in a separate video. So overall, I'm okay with it. Um, the reason I stopped using it is that the Contour USB Next is what came with my insulin pump and it wirelessly transmitted data to the insulin pump. So you don't have to enter the reading before you do a bolus, you know, meal time bolus or correction. So that's why I stopped using this. So here it is, the one touch Vario IQ. If you have one, make sure you check your serial number online because there is a recall going on right now. Okay, I hope you enjoy it. and. Um, let me know if you have any questions and please subscribe to my video and stay healthy.